Hi everyone, I'm back with Libra's reading for January 2024. Let's see what the cards are reading for the sign of Libra. We're going to shuffle these cards five times. One. Two. Three. Four. And five. Let's see what's happening for Libra for the month of January 2024. Happy 2024, guys. I hope you are all doing well. I hope you are having a great start to your 2024. Remember, I do intuitive tarot. I read the jumpers that fall out. I do not read reversals. I, if it falls face up, it may have a stronger meaning for you. Remember, I use my intuition. I do not read alone just the cards. I read the picture in the card and I read what I'm being told, okay? So let's see what's going on for you, Libra. I'm using the Angel Wisdom Tarot for this reading. What's going on for Libra for the month of January? What's going on for Libra for the month of January? Ooh, we got home and family. We got the Four of Wands really focusing on home, family, or relationship. But definitely the home, okay? Because we got the Four of Wands. Your main focus is your home. There it goes, the Four of Wands. Home, family, situation, okay, Libra? Really working on that, really on make, make, bringing stability there, bringing happiness there, okay? What else is going on for Libra for the month of January? What else is going on for Libra for the month of January? That's a great card to, st to start off with, the Four of Wands. Wish fulfillment, home, happiness, bringing, you know... Making things happy in the home, you know, making it more comfortable, making it feel more homely, okay? Bringing love and peace into the home. What else is going on with Libra? Okay, we got one that fell out. We're going to take it. Ooh, the Ace of Cups, definitely. Fulfilling love, okay? Attracting love, balancing the home and family situation with lots of love. What else is going on here for the sign of Libra? Beautiful cards. All right. We got the Queen of Swords being direct, knowing what you want, knowing which direction you're going, um, communicating that, uh, receiving and giving messages, having, you know, um, boundaries. Because the Queen of Swords, you know, she doesn't take crap, right? She has her boundaries and she knows what she wants and needs. And she's honest and truthful about it and very direct, okay? So really having boundaries, being direct about what you want in your home and family, what you want to attract and what you want to balance out, okay? What else is going on for the sign of Libra for the month of January? We have the six of wands victory baby so if there was issues at home or things that weren't balanced or you felt unbalanced there's a lot of victory coming in for you this month on libra so you got a good month ahead you got victory here you got the wheel of fortune things changing for the better things working out for you you're having victory in in situations where you thought were going to be very difficult for you okay so Wow, wonderful cards, Libra, for the month of January. I love them. Especially when it comes to home, family, relationships, you're going to have victory. There's going to be more love there or you're going to be attracting a new opportunity and you're going to feel victorious and you're going to feel like things are moving forward in a better way for you, Libra. What else is going on for the sign of Libra for the month of January? What else is going on for the sign of Libra for the month of January? Let's see what else is going on for the sign of Libra for the month of January. What else is going on? Yeah, we got the Knight of, oh, we got the Knight of Pentacles here. Okay, so definitely working on your stability. Definitely working on building something. But it is going to take a slow process. You're planning, you're building, you're working on your stability, okay? And you're putting down... You're putting down the plans and you're putting and you're laying it out and you know which way you're going to go. Or this could be a type of energy that you're attracting towards you. Someone who may be slow moving, but definitely someone who is stable. OK, we have the five of swords. Uh, be careful with um, people who may not be honest and truthful around you. There's going to be a lot of success and happiness this month coming your way. But you need to be careful with who you share that success and happiness with. Do not stay 
stuck in the negative. Do not um, overthink situation. Do not be blocked off that you don't see all the goodness that's coming towards you that the angels are trying to offer you, okay? I see you a lot stuck in your mindset about choices or things that you need to do. Know that you're going to have success no matter which way you go because you've got the wheel of fortune and you've got the six of wands, which is about success, all right? Don't let negative people bring you down. Don't let what anyone tells you make you feel like, oh, I can't make it happen because you can, okay? What else is going on for Libra? for the month of January. What else is going on for Libra for the month of January? Yeah, we got you planning for the future. We got you moving forward. There goes the ship. There goes the boat. You're moving forward. You're balancing your emotions and you know which way you're going to go. You are working on the Ten of Pentacles and creating happiness, okay? And you're definitely balancing things out. Even though you may feel like you're not, you are. You're going to win. Whatever situations you felt had you feeling teeter-totter or feeling off, you know, and, and not feeling balanced, I see you having success with it, okay? You just need to trust in yourself and know that you have the power and the strength to make things happen for you that are going to be great, okay? I see a lot of changes in the home and family, love. I see you succeeding. I see the Wheel of Fortune here. And the Wheel of Fortune tells me, which is the strongest energy here, that things are going to be moving better for you this month, okay? And you're going to be building the stability and happiness and attracting a great partnership or working on your pa partnership. And you guys are going to work on bringing stability and happiness to the home, okay? What else is going on with the sign of Libra this month? What else is going on with the sign of Libra this month? What else is going on for the sign of Libra this month? <laughs> what else is going on for the sign of Libra this month? All right. We have seven of wands, you know, keeping issues and having boundaries, keeping issues at bay and keeping anyone who wants to cause confusion out. That's what you're doing. And that's how you're going to balance yourself. Don't listen to the naysayers. Don't listen to people who want bad for you. Don't listen to criticism about you. Know that you are heading in the right direction. You just got to listen to your intuition and know that things are going to be changing for the better for you, okay? Releasing situations and things and negative feelings, releasing negative thoughts and knowing you have what it takes, okay? You are going to succeed. The Wheel of Fortune is saying things are going to move forward. I see a lot of happiness and love in the home and family. I see you working on its abundance and stability and creating the happiness you want in the family. This is really centered in home and family, okay? And what brings you happiness there and what things you need to cut out or what people have been causing problems and having that plan to say, hey, I no longer want this person in my existence or I don't know, I no longer want to deal with this person. I'm not going to listen to what they have to say. I'm releasing them and I'm working on my home and family and bringing peace, happiness, and abundance and stability there, okay? So if there are people around you who have been negative or who have uh, spoken to you in a negative way or have, you know, lied to you or been deceiving, know that you're going to you're gonna move forward from that. You're no longer going to be listening to them. You're going to be like, uh-uh, talk to the hand because the ears are not listening. All right, so that is your energy for this month. Let's take out one more card for you. You've got great energy. You've got success. you got things moving forward in a better way this month for you, Libra. So I see a lot of excitement, a lot of happiness for you this month. I see you releasing situations that no longer serve you and releasing people that no longer serve you. So that is your energy for this month. This reading was short to the point. It says release people. If there are people around you who are bringing you negativity, who are making you feel less than, release them. Let them go. Don't listen to them. Let them go and don't be in their energy. Cut them out, right? Be like the queen of swords. You know which way you're going. You know the direction you want to do things. You know you're going to attract everything you want. You're going to be working on your relationship. And if not, you're going to be attracting love into your life, right? But you need to be open to it and you need to be not listening to people because then you're going to miss out on what, what's coming towards you. Don't let people bring you down. Don't let anyone make you feel negative, okay? Because you got the Wheel of Fortune and you got success here. That is your reading, Libra, for the month of January. Thanks for listening. Have a wonderful month. Bye-bye.